Hi viewers, welcome to a new video and uh, you are watching Mechatronic Solution channel and today's video we will learn how we can configure our program Deep C6110 KM2 controller without a laptop step by step okay so in the first step I will briefly describe about these buttons okay so first I will talk about the buttons so first these two buttons is called navigation button red button red this is called stop button or reset button and this is called a manual selection button and this is also you can see has written minus so it means when we decrease the value of our set point we also use this button this is a plus when we increase the value of our any set point so we use this button this is auto stop and auto start button and here you can just check mark we can also use this button to change the value and to save the value this is button this button is we used for to mute the buzzers when alarm comes our buzzer will sound it so for mute the sounding we press this button and this button is also check the leds are working so you can see all leds are working so this button is called a start button when we press this manual selection button followed by this button then our generator will start here we also have two more buttons this button is a our breaker of the generator breaker and this one is a our home breaker and here are two L LEDs are more LEDs are here this LEDs is for the generator available and this is a generator on a load okay so this is the uh, brief description about this screen about these buttons now I will talk about the this uh, front how we can program or how we can enter the FPE mean front panel editor so how we can enter the front panel yeah for how we can enter the screen for programming so first of things you have to know our generator should be in the in the stop mode and the status generator at rest and this LED should be lit after it we press this auto this auto button and this stop button simultaneously and we will enter the editor mode so here are the uh, five six editor menus first i will show you all the editor menus the first editor menu is our our display about our display when i press little longer press this button i will enter the next editor this is a editor schedule menu i press it again little long i enter the editor timer when I press it again this was the editor generators all the generator panel uh, parameters are contained or lies in this uh, menu when I press it again so this is the editor engine the engine parameters are contained in this menu so up to now now is a uh, I again come back to the editor so up to now we will learn how we can enter the edit mode or programming mode now I each I will talk about each parameters which are lying in all the editor menus and, and how we can change that parameters here you can see here's a first editor is a menu is a editor display so first is a contrast so you can change the brightness this is showing the brightness of this screen LCD so first of this one when I press this button we use this button for going more deeply in this menu to check the all the parameter I press this one this is the language so we can change language this is a LCD page delay so how long it this uh, uh, this page will uh, go back to the it take five minutes this is the scroll down if I not press this button so after five seconds next parameter will automatically will come will appear so next is a current date so two days this is a date 
date and time are given here we can change this time and date so first i know i show you how we can change this up uh, now if you want to change this value so how we can change this value i press this check mark button first after you can this value at this set point is blinking when this blinking then you can use these two button this will increase the value of this one and this will decrease value of this set point so you can if you want to increase you press this one so its value is 70 if you want to go down you, you can use this button and you come down and after again i press this one to save this value so in this way we change any pin parameters in any editor menu go further to the other menu so here you can see this is a schedule menu the schedule menu is inactive if you want to activate you press this button and you can see this is blinking start blinking this blinking so you can active or inactive i don't want to activate because this this uh, this uh, schedule is only used on ATS system when ATS system is installed the generator then we use this button so this generator not installed ATS system so I don't want to active it so I it remain it inactive I go ahead of other editor I press it little long so this is editor timer so here in this menu all the timers which are used in this uh, controller are contained here all the here you can see lcd scroll delay in a, I, all the parameters you can check so for saving time i can't go to the further behavior as long too much too many are here too many timers are here engine coolant uh, engine fail to start delay so all the timers are here now i go to the next edit menu our next data menu is the generator all the safeties of the generators are contained in this menu first is under voltage shutdown and when voltage become 185 volt so this generator automatically shut down under voltage shutdown delay after when your voltage is become 185 after 5 seconds this generator automatically become shut down if you want to change this time as you change press this one after you press these buttons and again press this button to save the values in this when you can change the parameters so i go to under voltage pre alarm okay the first alarm will come at a 197 and at 185 it will shut down so first alarm will come at 197 so all the parameters are given here so, okay so i just only pressing pressing show you under frequency shutdown alarm seconds this is a when under frequency will come after five seconds this generator will automatically will shut down so all the safeties are given in this menu now i will go further to the next editor is the engine all the engine safeties are given in this menu if you want to change so oil pressure low when your pressure become 26 psi or 180 kilopascal then this generator this engine automatically become shut down this is this is a coolant temperature 105 degree centigrade and 220 you can change this value by using this you can blinking so you can change this value if don't want to change pass it again so in this way all the engine parameters start delay is a five second preheat timer zero cranking time 10 second cranking reset 10 sec this is a safe safety on delay safety on delay 10 second you can change all the value smoke limiting okay smoke limiting off so in this way all the any parameter you want to change you can change by yourself and uh, by using these uh, buttons manually through this controller by using this controller you can do any configuration or any programming to can use it so if you want to come out this page first what you have to do you use this button you press this button so you come on the home page so this is a home page in this way you can use all these button and you can 
do your work hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends if you have any question if you have any question about this controller so please write down the comments in the comments box and i will reply you